So if you have an edentulous patient or a pediatric patient who's having a hard time biting and the bite wing keeps shifting, there are times when I will actually use a snap array to take my bite wing. So what you'll do is you're gonna place this larger, more wide side towards the cheek and the white surface of the film will always go towards the wide. So what you're gonna do is place that bite wing halfway into the holder like so. So when I'm placing this on a premolar shot, I'm gonna place the film like I would regularly and I want to angle it just a little bit like towards the midline so the edge of it is almost between 24 and 25. And then I'll have the patient bite. The stick is almost coming out the other side of her mouth. Now when you do it for a molar shot, go ahead and open for me Jess, you want the edge of the film to be between her premolars which she does not have two of, but we'll take it back a little bit farther so the edge of the film is between the premolar and the molar there. So go ahead and bite. And it's more, you know, coming straight out the front of her mouth versus to the opposite side. And then you'll line it up like you would a normal bite wing. Now the thing about this is when I'm gonna, when I get the film back after it's developed, you're actually gonna see part of the stick in the film. So if you have a perio patient, this might not actually allow you to get the bone necessary to um, check those bone levels. So if you can't see the bone, sometimes you can place it vertically instead. So I'll just place it halfway on that film, just like that. I'm gonna show you here on the molar shot. Sometimes I'll give that vertical film a little bit of a bend so it's not as painful or maybe a little bit of a bend on some of those edges. Place it sideways so you can swipe the tongue over. And the placement of this, you wanna for sure get your molars. So you wanna push it back far enough on the molar shot to where you're gonna get those molars. And gently close on that. And then you line it up like usual with your molar shot. So I'm going to place this by right, the corner of her eye will be the center of my PID. And to prevent the overlap, you want to close this gap right here. So you're going to turn, 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 so you don't get horizontal overlap on that film.